All right, now I'm in the uh, like tree care industry, and I go through a ton of these gloves. Uh, these gloves, meaning like gloves with a little bit of traction on them, <clears throat> and these are the ones that we're looking at here. Um, what makes them distinct from other ones I've used? Well, two things. Uh, number one is that they are um, like rubberized all the way around, right? So you've got good traction here and then rubberized all the way around. I would only use these in my work, like when I'm working outside. Uh, I use them because they give me good traction on rope, but I would only use these in wet weather. You know, they're not gonna be like 100% waterproof, like a big old long rubber glove, but they're gonna be a lot more water resistant. But I brought out a few other pairs of gloves just to compare these guys. These are rubber coated on the back. This is the standard glove I use summer and winter. Put it on the wrong hand. It is similar to that one. It's textured on the on the hand part, but the rest of this stuff is just you know straight up kind of uh, fabric. These are mildly cut resistant. Sometimes I'll use a full cut resistant glove. Occasionally, almost never, depending on what I'm doing with fuel or something, I'll use a full dipped glove. This guy's all rubber, and you guys are probably familiar with these as work gloves. Straight up leather handled, you know, leather handed uh, glove with a fabric back. I decreasingly use these things. They're expensive. These are like, you know, 10 bucks a pair. Whereas the nice thing about gloves like these or gloves like these is that you can usually get a multi-pack. Anyway, these are nice gloves. Uh, not insulated. They're not like a big winter glove. You can get thermal rubber gloves on Amazon, but you know, they got that rubber going on, good texture over here, and I like them. I think I'll definitely, um, you know, put away like five or six pairs of them. So I got back up.